What's up, YouTube, man? Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy Stata Steezo coming back with some more of this fire footage. As y'all can see, boy had to go pick up another one of these jacks from Harbor Freight. I know a lot of people get Harbor Freight a hard time. I shouldn't even be buying that jack, man, because some of their stuff be a little janky, but I'm going to have jacks under the car. And this should get the job done. Y'all can see your boy keep that grass. On fleet too. I gotta go and get that grass done, but we about to go ahead and pull the rear end out the car, man, because we have a new rear end for the whip. And actually, let me go ahead and get this load in the car and turn y'all back on. Yes, y'all heard it. We finally got a rear end for Blue, Blue Ivy, man. I've been waiting for one for a good little while. Uh, you know, like I said, man, you just gotta trust the process, and things will always fall together. So. If y'all been following me on my social media, y'all will know what type of rent I got for the car. So when we get that thing in, it's gonna be bad ASS, man. I got them boys to put me together a pretty nice rim for the car. We shorten it up on both sides, so we'll most definitely be able to super, super tuck tuck on the car now and go a wider wheel eventually down the eventually down the line but for now we should gonna run these same wheels until somebody decide to buy those wheels and i will be selling the um, the brakes the disc brakes off my old my over end too so if anybody would like to get those i'll probably let them go for 200 bucks or something like that ship and y'all get in the comments let me know or y'all can hit me up on my social media Man, y'all gotta remember, just not too long ago, it was negative six outside, negative 10. Now it's 71 degrees outside. Hey, boy, y'all, Oklahoma got some, some crazy weather. I'll tell y'all that, man. Now, it ain't no snow outside. Ground all clear. But here we are. Let me show y'all the room to the, so. 200 bucks will get you the rotors, caliper, bracket, everything you'll need to bolt this up to your rim. And if you're locally, you can have the whole rim for 200 bucks if you want to. But if not, I ship the, the calipers, bracket, and rotor T for 200 bucks. This is five by three quarter on there. And y'all have y'all some disc brakes on the back of the car and be good to go in with the new brand. Like I said, the new brand is shortened and everything. Uh, nope, I'm not giving out no specs on the rent or how much I shorten it, you know, to these numbers get ramped up on these videos, man. I, I share a lot of knowledge and numbers on these on these videos for to have these low of numbers on here, man. Like, come on now. Y'all give this video a thumbs up for all this work here, man, I haven't put on this channel. I couldn't find none of this stuff on YouTube for people installing Will Woods on, on Lock Chevys or Master Cylinders, all that on there, or actual whole complete start to end on a Turbo Swap LS fuel system. Man, coilovers. Man, come on now. Y'all gonna do me like that with the numbers on YouTube and how all the stuff I'm putting out here? Nope. I ain't giving out no more of that stuff, man. Y'all can sit here and watch me do all this. Like I said, if these women went on, was on YouTube, I bet y'all would be subscribing and liking and commenting, thirst trapping, being simps, all the above. So let's go ahead, get started on pulling this rear out of this car. Shouldn't be that hard. Y'all already know there ain't that many boats that's holding this thing in there, so we're gonna go and get it dropped out real quick. Man, so we already got the dry shaft removed and up out the way. Take this upper lower down, remove some brake lines, and this bad boy gonna be ready to come out.
just like that she a predator oh seven five I cut these brake lines off because uh, I'll be going back with braided brake lines on the on a new setup dang did y'all see them bushings things all crumbled up and see and this is how the disc brake bolted up to the back man let me get up off of that i'll be showing y'all too much real deal holy field stuff on here man like i was saying before get these views up get them likes up we'll start dropping more of that that good stuff like them part numbers but here's the back all naked and then up in there you see them big boy coilovers up under the sign got them lowers them uppers as y'all can see ain't no rust up under here why we up under here is so I can show y'all boys clean as a whistle there's my fuel line in here who, who calling me? Oh, this guy. Want to hit him back real quick. But yes, as y'all can see, that, that fuel, I mean that, that brake line is dripping like a mug on her. But yeah, we can't wait. You see this up right there? Can't wait to get the new. The new setup under this thing. So we can really, really make some noise, man. At that point, only thing I really have left on the car is, is paint. Like I told y'all before, this paint may look good on camera, but in person, this is a horrible, horrible paint job. Like, like look at all this stuff right here. Like that's chipping. I see a little body work, a little filler. Even look at that trim. Like even back here, look at the trim. I don't know. They was trying to look at this. Y'all see the two different. I don't know if these fools are trying to do a brushed look or or what on this car, man. But it's horrible, horrible. And whoever painted this car before I had it, you should give up your shop and everything else you're doing, man. Because this, I don't know, this is the type of paint job that people be trying to DIY, do it yourself. Oh, man, it's easy to paint a car. All I got to do is go get a, a paint gun and paint it, man. I wish y'all could see it in person. Like, I could see so many imperfections from uh body work like they didn't smooth it out real good and i could see the circles from when them when they were sanding on the paint job um i need to get this bottom trim too all re repolished as well i don't know what was going on back here um i don't know y'all can let me know in the comments yeah i don't think that was factory I can see two different separations right here. Well, it looks like somebody tried to put some fake, some fake chrome on this thing or something. Y'all can see that right there, man. That's that's the type of imperfections I'm talking about that's in this paint job. So, when people just say, man, it's just easy, man. Just go get a, a paint gun and spray it. No, it takes talent to do anything so everything's been touched on this car besides paint we'll be getting paint done i still need to get a lot of this chrome redone on the back of the trunk because this is, has a lot of pitting pitting in it but overall other than that i already see the trunk been cleaned up dynamatic we'll be getting the trunk customized as well Got all this redone, but from the bottom fuel system, brakes, suspension, motor, trans, 
rear end, interior has all been redone the best way possible that it can be done. And y'all can go run through all my videos and see all of that. Like, all has been documented because I know a lot of people inbox me about how to do stuff. Just go to my channel and scroll through it, man. Or I could have seen the link. Like, a lot, a lot of this is already documented on there, man. Y'all can just go through the videos and check them out. You know, I don't drop this footage for nothing, man. I drop this stuff so I can put out knowledge for the people. Because a lot of this stuff I put on this car, I can find it myself. When I when I first got this box, a lot of this stuff I couldn't find at all for this car. Especially all these upgrades. Like I said, I've seen a whole bunch of other BS I don't even care about putting on this car. So, y'all want to build y'all a little nice little street car, race car, show car. This is the channel for it, man. So, like I said, if y'all new to this, make sure y'all subscribe and most definitely hit that post notification bell so y'all can be updated on all the new videos. We out.